What would be the quickest way to execute someone? Electrocution or just shooting the person? No, it's not that easy. History has some of the scariest execution methods. Ancient history showed us a variety of executions, and among them were some of the quickest executions that had just happened in the past. It's that kind of execution that doesn't let you feel how painful death is. We're talking about the Scottish Maiden. And the Maiden, sometimes known as the Scottish Maiden, was an early version of the guillotine or gibbet that was employed in Edinburgh, Scotland, as a method of execution during the 16th and 18th centuries. The tool first appeared in 1564, during Mary, Queen of Scots, rule, and was last used in 1716. It was around long before the French Revolution and the guillotine. When necessary, it was pulled out and put away. By pulling on the rope, which was then fastened to a trigger, the lead-weighted blade would be raised. The weight would cause the blade to fall swiftly after the trigger was released. People were brought to Edinburgh from all over Scotland to be beheaded by the maiden. The crimes committed by the condemned to death included homicide, incest, theft, treason, adultery, forgery, and robbery. The more severe methods of the Middle Ages, including breaking with the wheel and the axe, was being abandoned by the populace at the time. These outdated techniques were viewed as harsh and cumbersome. Criminals used to frequently have their heads cut off with an axe or a sword before the invention of beheading machines. This approach wasn't consistently accurate. It depended on the blade's sharpness, the executioner's strength, and his aim. There are numerous well-known instances where executions did not go as expected. Edinburgh's execution sword has become obsolete by 1563. Thus, money was used to cover the cost of a beheading that month. Following this, in 1564, during the reign of Mary, Queen of Scots, the maiden was built in response to a request from the provost and magistrates of Edinburgh. The construction records for the maiden are still in existence today. The reports show that George Todd, Patrick Shang, and Adam Shang, all master carpenters, built it. The blade's lead weight was added by Andrew Goderson. For his full labors and inventing of the timber work, Patrick Shang received two pounds. In Edinburgh, Shang also produced furniture, like an oak bed for the Earl of Moray, half-brother to Queen Mary. Similar mechanisms were used before the French Revolution in Scotland, England, and several other European nations, frequently for the death of criminals of noble rank. The guillotine, which was used to murder thousands of people during the French Revolution, including King Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette, became the main symbol of the Reign of Terror. Only eight executions took place between 1965 and the last one in 1977 in France, where the usage of the guillotine persisted far into the 20th century, but declined during the 1960s and 70s. France abolished the guillotine and outlawed the death penalty in September 1981, unlike beheading. More than 150 persons were executed on the Maiden between 1564 and 1710, after which it was decommissioned. Among the notable victims were Archibald Campbell, first Marquess of Argyll, who was executed in 1661 during Charles II's restoration, and his son Archibald Campbell, the ninth Earl of Argyll, who was executed in 1685 for plotting to lead an insurrection against James VII. At Edinburgh's Murcott Cross, these executions took place. John Hamilton was the last person to be put to death on the Maiden. He was executed on June 30, 1716, for killing a bartender after a fight. It came relatively late for the French cabinet to decide to abolish the guillotine. In 1650, Halifax in West Yorkshire demolished its guillotine, often known as the gibbet. Joseph Ignis Guillotin is most commonly credited with introducing a clean death machine in 1792, according to one of those strange turns of history. In other European nations, including Halifax, where it was utilized at least 400 years later, such a device was recognized and in use considerably earlier. The jury was presented with the stolen property during the trial, along with the accuser and defendant. If the defendant was judged not guilty, they were free to leave. They would have been put to death if proven guilty. All executions took place on market days. Thus, if it was a market day, a subject would be carried out right away. In the absence of a market day, they would be put in the stocks while carrying the stolen items on their backs. I know it's quite philosophical that life is severed all at once, 
but don't think about it too much as it can give you nightmares. But make sure to tell us about your opinion on the Scottish Maiden. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And for more gruesome and exciting content, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon ASAP. We'll catch up with you in the next one. Until then, peace.